Is my camera on? Hello. Oh, hey. This is a play. Kind of. Also, not a play. Let's not worry about what this kind of thing's called. What we might have started to call it. This thing we've always done. When we get together. Whatever we've started to call together. And some of us watch and listen. And some of us speak and listen. Whatever we're calling this, right now. This is one of those. It's meant to take place. Here. Which could mean you are wherever you are. And everyone else is wherever they are. Joining together our here's to make a single here. Bolting them edge to edge on a screen. Like self-assembly plastic storage boxes. For human heads. And if that's true... Then let's tell you about... Our own worlds outside these boxes. I'm in my room with my cup of tea, hairbrush, snacks, pencil, or maybe, even just maybe, that we're all in the same big box, all in the same air, that I can look you in your actual eye, your actual human glistening, sticky to the touch, see it blink human eye. Imagine that. That's not what we're doing. If we're still at the heads and boxes stage. Imagine us all in that space. How's it going to feel? Because when it finally happens. Because it will happen. And if it has happened. If we are all together in a room. With air and eyes and all the sounds. The small sounds of bodies that microphones don't notice. And speakers don't transmit. Take a moment to think back to the time, that lost age of months or weeks or even just days ago when we couldn't do this, when our bodies were quiet or at least made noises only we could hear when maybe the only clue to our actual existence our real world existence was when we froze or glitched or had to leave and return while we stayed in the exact same place Weird isn't it? How whatever you're doing now How whatever way we're doing this now Can so quickly become the only way to do it The only way we've ever done it I guarantee you, even though Even though some things might be different The distance between us if we're in a room The tension in the room that was never there before Or the lag of different broadband speeds The colour and closeness of the walls around us We'll still find it hard to imagine that we used to do this any other way. Or the way that we're doing it will change. Anyway. This play, this thing, this poem. What we're calling what's happening doesn't matter. But it has a name, apart from that. In the name of it is? Hold out your hand. That's what was printed. At the top of the document they gave us. It was in bold to make it seem important. To say, this is the title. But we're not so into that. Hold out your hand. We're not that into it. I mean, we get it. We're not... We're not stupid, we get. 
that someone thought it sounded hopeful. About connection and contact. But it's a bit thin, isn't it? A bit on the one side. A bit full of the kind of... The kind of empty optimism that's... Just meant to get us through this. Like something you'd say to a child. Crossing a road, or maybe... Walking down unfamiliar streets to a funeral. Or something that feels kind, but unfocused. Almost as if it were a compromise. Like the guy thought, I want to make something. About getting through this, but just that. Not about doing, but about being there. About reassurance and how everything is. Going to be okay. How if we are just here for each other. So, hold out your hand, we thought. That will do. Except it won't. It could have been, and this is no disrespect. Honestly, mate, we're saying these words, aren't we? No disrespect, but... Could have been a better title. What about... The Forgotten Months? Nah, let's call it... Slim Hope. Or is that still too thin? I prefer me, myself and four walls. How about clap for Covid? I've got it. We've took it all for granted. Took what for granted? That's the name. We're definitely not calling it that. <gasps> I've got it. Distant, but so near. Let me out. God help me before I lose it. Are you okay, Michael? Was that a title? Okay. I don't think anyone is okay. I guess, but we still need to give it a name. Something that says clearly what's happened and the many shades of feeling from relief to joy. From the deepest sorrow to the total fury. It's possible to feel about it. And whoever wrote this, for example, there's no way he can really get in our heads. There's a lot he doesn't know. A lot he doesn't want to guess. A lot he thinks, but he knows is wrong. And the rest of it, he's making up. I mean, he wouldn't know. How could he? The highest point in the year for me was probably when I was able to see my family and friends again in real life and not over a screen anymore. The highest point for me was finding BTS. The highest point for me? Uh, can I have three? Right. Um, so, it'd probably have to be between um, having my best friend slash sibling finally move in with me properly. Um, or, or finally becoming a fur dad and I now have two kittens who I love and yeah or and this is a big one um a thing I've been working on for over two years the script getting picked to be part of the next production that I do with Tim Speak which is uber exciting the lowest point for me was not being able to interact with my friends the lowest point in the year for me was probably when I realised that all the freedoms I took for granted before have just been taken away from us in a split second. The lowest point of lockdown for me was not seeing the friends and not being able to socialise with other people and not having the interaction I'd have every day. The lowest point for me Well, probably find out that two of my friends sadly passed away. I won't go into what they passed away from, because obviously that's not my place. Uh, but it was a shock. 
but it wasn't even due to COVID was the thing. Because everyone was expecting them to have passed COVID or whatever. But no. One of those friends I lived with. They were my own age. And finding out that they were now gone. It's just so weird and unexpected. Yeah. But anyway, here we are. Probably when this is happening, when we are seeing this, when you are watching this. We're still all a bit spooked. We're still a bit scared of touching each other. Everyone just feeling a little bit like we've been walking down a corridor. That's lined with cheap carpets and we're about to touch a door handle. Most of us have learned to move through our own lives like ghosts. As the world changed around us. In ways it never has before. Ways that we had to find words to describe. It was like door slamming shut behind you. Stuck on the spot, just standing there. While the whole world watches. I think we should try this one ourselves. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the X Factor. Uh, my name is Dermot Lee, I'm the host. Uh, we are here in Manchester and most importantly, we are back in the rooms, as you can see. Uh, so our contestants will come through here and then they stand on the X and then they say hello to our four judges. Hello four judges. We're on a 360 camera on a video right now. It's exciting, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's 360 on the cold. Doing a little shimmy right there. Uh, they get four yeses, they get through to boot camp, they get through to judges' houses, uh, and well, you know the rest. Thank you. Well, you sounded like a dog barking sorry. at the end. I am so sorry. You, don't, you haven't got a 10 out of 10 voice. At best, I would give you two and a half. Your voice is just not as good as you think it is. So it's a what? It's a no. No, not for me. OK, nice to meet you, Kelly. Thank you very much. Bye, sweetheart. Thanks a lot. Degrading could not be nice. I think I'm being penalised because he just wants to get out. He's not giving anybody a chance. He, he seems to me very. He wants to get out. He wants to go to the pub, basically. Ten out of ten. Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Celine Dion, and that sounded like Lassie. Hi, son. How do you do? I'm my dad, my father. What's your name? Peter. 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 She was I absolutely just... terrible in here, I... Peter. Can I say something? You are partly to blame for your daughter's delusion. Why? Because you've obviously encouraged her. It's crazy. It's crazy. I think this is crazy. No, but the whole thing That's is crazy. crazy. I'm asking you, please, can you give her one more? One it's more. pointless. Just one more. It's pointless, Why Peter. is it pointless? Because I know she can do it. Peter, you don't. Peter. That's the whole point. You I don't do. know. I do. This is my business. Your daughter isn't good enough. Have you got, have you, have you got a heart? Yes. Well, will, will you put your hand in your heart? I've also got a brain. Where's your brain? In your middle toe. Goodbye, Kelly. You've been very, very harsh. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Very harsh. Kelly, reality check. It's a you All you want to do is just go on, don't you? 
Excuse me. No, Basically, you penalise that fair Kelly, you just I'm not. Thank you. Thank you. Don't push me, I'm walking. Okay, come on, get it. I'll show you. Thank you. Simon, you are very, very rude. Oh, there's an eye opener. Very, being very rude. Very rude. So, anyone else been having really weird dreams? Don't worry. We're not going to tell you about our dreams. Except, I had this dream. We literally just said. Just one. Let me tell you just one. No, you don't need to share your dream. Just tell us how it felt. Why? Look, I know this guy's no good at that, but maybe... Just this once. We can let them share their dream. That doesn't bore us to tears. Maybe I can trust them that much. To give us one useful dream. It's worth a try. So I had this dream where... I was walking outside. But it wasn't my outside, as in... Not what I'd see if I went out the door. It was an outside that differed in certain very important respects from anywhere I'd normally find myself. It was huge for one thing. Not streets or houses. The sky, not just a ribbon stretched out over a road. Gimps between the artificial horizons made by buildings closing in on either side. It was bigger. Even than landscapes without buildings wider than moorland. More distant than the glimpse you get sometimes of distant hills. The ground was flat. Not grass flat or rock flat or artificial car park flat. But the flat of an afternoon spent looking out of a window. A leafless winter tree. The ground, the colour of the light fading on a wasted day. And the sky thrown over like an overwashed bedsheet. And the sun invisible. Light just seeming to come from every direction. No shadows, no bright. And me, not even in the middle of this. Because there is no middle. I can't see the edges, just there, like in my body. I was definitely in my body, I was absolutely definitely me. My height, my hair, my skin. Standing on that empty ground, in a colourless dream version of my everyday shoes. I stood there for a long time. Is that it? Is that the dream? Yeah, I was just standing there for the longest time. In that kind of way where you wake up and you don't know how long you were in it for. I stood there for a long time. And I thought, do you ever think in dreams? I didn't really feel grief. I didn't really feel happiness. There were many things I'd miss. But there were many things that I was glad to see. I was glad to lose having to think about how I was going to dress. The worry of what might be thought of me. And the simple things like swinging past Greg's for a sausage roll. Or Make a TikTok with your friends. Or going to the dancing, having a drink, pulling. But most of all, I think it was control. I was sad to lose control. It was like the whole world was a mug that had just been dropped. You know that moment when you've just made a drink and Everything's right in your life, and then for some reason, for some completely stupid reason, the mug's not in your hand. And your fingers flash through empty air. For a frozen fraction of a second. There's nothing you can do. But watch it spin in progress to the floor. Well, the way that you feel in that moment, 
Like a bystander does an accident. That's the way the dream felt. Standing there in all that emptiness. Except, and this is important. Except, this isn't real life. In real life, the mug was dropped. Or through this screen in all these rooms. That future world still feels untouchable. We're not despairing. Please don't think we're despairing. We're just saying. Parts of the life we want still feel like dreams. Still feel lost in a landscape we're standing in. Wondering what happens next. But we remember. The spring. And the spring. Hold out your hand. There's power in it. Remind yourself. This land. This uncharted land. Is yours. As much as anyone's. Thank you.